Julius Malima, the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, recently called South African President Cyril Ramaphosa a wounded buffalo and delivered a scathing speech. Please kindly hit on the subscribe button as we go into the details. In South Africa, where the EFF has been outspoken in its criticism of the governing African National Congress, ANC, and its leadership, Malima's remarks highlight the country's rising political unrest. Malima's claim that South Africa will eat this elephant piece by piece alludes to a plan to progressively undermine Ramaphosa's government. He implied that the president's recent address lacked confidence and genuineness, further deriding it. Malima's criticism that it may have been written by opposition leader and Democratic Alliance, DA, heavyweight Helen Zill is an attempt to cast doubt on Ramaphosa's moral character and leadership. These statements demonstrate the EFF's aggressive political posture and willingness to take advantage of any perceived ANC shortcomings. Malima's audacious language continues to incite public discussion and challenge the existing quo as South Africa negotiates its complicated political environment. Once again, Judge John Hlofi of South Africa has ignited a firestorm of controversy with his recent comments about President Ramaphosa's most recent speech. Known for his candor, Hlofi called the speech appalling and even hinted that the Democratic Alliance, DA, a significant opposition party in South Africa, could have ghostwritten it. Though specifics were not revealed in the first reports, the remarks were made soon after President Ramaphosa gave a major speech, most likely on national matters. Hlofi's critique, however, has garnered a lot of attention because of how pointed and consequential it is. Hlofi's detractors contend that his comments cast doubt on the legitimacy of the speechwriting process and threaten the presidency. They make the point that the public's confidence in governmental institutions may be damaged by such charges, particularly if they come from a well-known member of the court. Supporters of Hlofi, on the other hand, see his remarks as an essential criticism of political discourse that emphasizes the significance of openness and sincerity in public speeches. They contend that in order to make sure public leaders, including the president, maintain the highest standards of governance, they should be held accountable and scrutinized. Discussions over the connection between the executive and judicial branches in South Africa's democratic system have been rekindled by the scandal. It also calls into question the proper role of public authorities in making political statements, especially when such comments can be seen as veering into partisan politics. As the narrative progresses and responses flood in from all facets of South African society, it highlights the intricacies of political debate and the difficulties in maintaining accountability and balance in a thriving democracy. The MK Party's legislative leader, Dr. John Hlofi, the impeached Western Cape judge president for serious misconduct, has assumed a new position. Hlofi's goal of bringing together all progressive parties in South Africa seems to be progressively coming to pass, despite his contentious background. Hlofi took the oath of office together with the other 58 members of the MK party, who had earlier abstained from the first session of parliament in protest over alleged irregularities in the election process. As it attempts to establish itself as the new official opposition, the MK party has named Hlofi to head its parliamentary group. Hlofi stressed in his statements that the MK party would collaborate very closely with the ATM and the EFF, two other progressive opposition parties. This stance is consistent with the party's aim to present a unified front in opposition to the ANC-led coalition in power. Given that Hlofi was previously impeached for wrongdoing, there has been significant controversy surrounding his selection as the head of the parliament. He has, however, maintained his stance, claiming that because the DA is now a member of the government of national unity, the MK party saw itself as the official opposition in parliament. Property reform and the Africanization of the law, which, in Hlofi's opinion, should shift from private ownership to a system where property belongs to the country, will be at the center of the MK party's legislative agenda. This is consistent with the EFF's long-standing demand that the Republic's government serve as the guardian of all land. The MK Party's attempts to bring progressive forces together and Hlofi's leadership will be widely observed as South Africa's political scene develops. President Ramaphosa's impending presentation of the cabinet will shed further light on the makeup of the government and the role of opposition parties in the new political landscape. An outspoken member of the ANC NAH.